Heisei Godzilla vs. Monster vs. Godzilla. Easily the most heated and most commonly debated topic in all of the Godzilla fandom. You either find middle-aged men screaming at four-year-old children at how Heisei Godzilla's fart destroys the entire universe, or Monster vs. Fanboys streaming Monster vs. one Taps because he's their favorite. Well, how about we actually dive into it? Analyze both different iterations of Godzilla and see who would win in a fight. Monster vs. Godzilla known as the Godzilla who revived the entire franchise after going into sleep after Final Wars. Having the highest grossing Godzilla films in its history, a lot of people see the Monster vs. Godzilla as their favorite. It's not just that either. He's shown to be extremely powerful, from throwing Monster Zero around in Boston to finishing Kong in seconds in Hong Kong. Not to mention, his era isn't even over, as there might be a sequel to Godzilla x Kong. It was so good, and I loved it. On the other hand, we have the Heisei era's incarnation of Godzilla. This Godzilla, spanning from 1984 to 1995, also brought Godzilla out of a drought, this time from the brief period between the Showa era and the Heisei era. Heisei Godzilla has fought a variety of opponents and always comes out on top. His atomic firepower and durability proved to be too much for the likes of even kaiju such as Space Godzilla. He's extremely powerful at range and doesn't fare poorly in close quarters combat. His atomic breath is his go-to weapon, and he's able to lift a lot more than his own body weight. Now that we've introduced each Godzilla, let's get to the main question and the most controversial part. Who would actually win? Will the Monster vs. Godzilla overpower Heisei Godzilla with his skill in close quarters combat and speed? Or will the Heisei era's Godzilla's atomic firepower and durability prove to carry him to a win? Without further ado, let's jump right into the most controversial Godzilla debate in the fandom's history. As usual, let's start off with strength. Monster vs. Godzilla has shown a wide variety of feats in this department, as he's fought a multitude of kaiju. Let's get a rundown of these feats. In his fight against the Ion Dragon, he was able to grab a hold of it and launch it into the side of a mountain and launch it into the Axis Mundi entrance portal after ripping off one of its wings. He was able to drive back the 60,000 metric ton female Muda with no difficulty at all, as the female Muda tried with all her strength to do anything. She proved to be no match as Godzilla was able to easily pin her to the ground. In his fight against the other Mudo, no, not the male Mudo, the Mama Prime, he lifted her onto his back almost effortlessly, stood completely upright, and launched her into the air with a pulse of energy from his shattered dorsals. Standing completely upright with 135,000 tons is immensely impressive. In his first fight with Scylla, he sent her flying with so much force that it resembled a stone skipping over water. In his second encounter in Rome, he charged with immense speed and actually jumped. His 99,000 ton ass hated Scylla so much that he jumped in the air, shoulder checked her, and sent her into a building. Despite Scylla only weighing 20,000 tons, this is quite impressive. In his fight against Ghidorah in Boston, he was shown throwing Ghidorah quite easily. However, he was amped in this state. We can still use this though, but tone it down a bit. In his fight against Kong, he steamrolled into him and launched him into the ground. After having enough of Kong's antics, he grabbed him by the arm with only his jaw and sent him flying across Hong Kong. Keep in mind, he weighs 90,000 tons. Lastly, in his extremely tired state, being at 50% of his power if not even lower, he actually won the initial confrontation between him and Mechagodzilla and not only didn't get pushed back, but displaced Mechagodzilla a sizable distance. Keep in mind, Mechagodzilla is more than 6 times Godzilla's own body weight at 600,000 tons and doing this in such a tired state is immensely impressive. His most two impressive showings of strength are easily him standing up with the Muda Prime on his back and winning this confrontation. Now that we've covered the extensive listing of monstrous Godzilla's strength, how does Heisei Godzilla stack up to this? In his fight against King Ghidorah, he picked him up by his two tails and slammed him into the ground over and over. King Ghidorah in the Heisei era weighs in at 70,000 metric tons. In his fight against the Batra Larva, while this fight did take place in the water, he grabbed him from behind and similar to how he manhandled Ghidorah, picked him up with ease and slammed him into the ground with so much force that it even broke open a tectonic plate. Against his mechanical doppelganger who weighed in at almost three times his own weight, he lifted him up and threw him into a building. This is easily his most impressive showing of strength. Unfortunately for Heisei, while his throwing of Mechagodzilla is insanely impressive, Monsterverse has not only done more, but actually done feats slightly more impressive. Strength, by the skin of my teeth, Monsterverse Godzilla takes strength. Speed. Monstrous Godzilla has shown to be extremely fast, being currently the Godzilla that can sprint the fastest. He was reaching speeds of up to 400 miles per hour when running at Kong on all fours and running at Mecha. In his charge against Ghidorah in Boston, he was reaching similar speeds as well. Now, in his fight against Scylla in Rome, he absolutely hauled ass towards her and as previously mentioned, f***ing jumped. Heisei Godzilla kind of just 
stands there. He usually just fillets his opponent's attacks medium rare and has a three course meal. No surprise to anyone, Monstrous easily takes speed. Agility. Similarly to speed, this category quite easily goes to Monstrous Godzilla. As we've mentioned already, Godzilla, when he charged at Scylla in Rome, legit did a mix of an uppercut with a shoulder check. He then instantly grabbed a hold of her and threw her into a building. In his fight against Kong in Hong Kong, despite slamming into a building when he charged at him, he quickly spun around and tail whipped him into the ground. Similarly, in regards to speed, Heisei Godzilla doesn't really do too much. He'll just eat their attacks and continue on his way. Monstrous Godzilla easily takes agility. Range Weaponry both of these Godzillas have shown to be able to use an atomic breath and a nuclear pulse, but well, whose is stronger? Starting off with Monstrous Godzilla, his atomic breath has a minimum temperature of 20,000 degrees Celsius. Keyword, minimum. To put this into perspective, Godzilla's atomic breath when fighting the Mudos would be only a mere 20,000 degrees Celsius. Clearly, we can see that his atomic breath can most likely reach temperatures of upwards of 100,000 degrees Celsius considering how much more vibrant and destructive it is when he uses it on multiple occasions in Hong Kong. This atomic breath was able to drill a hole halfway through the entire Earth when challenging Kong. Ghidorah, who is insanely durable, was burned and scorched by this atomic breath. His atomic breath was able to briefly stalemate Mechagodzilla's atomic breath despite being at its absolute minimum. His nuclear pulse was showcased against actual kaiju in his thermonuclear mode and his evolved form. When he uses his nuclear pulse in France, it is quite destructive, absolutely leveling anything around him, but we haven't seen this form of Godzilla use it on an actual kaiju. I guess you could technically count Godzilla using his dorsal plate pulse against the Prime, but it was used in a way that can be replicated in this fight. However, you can correlate what it did to what Godzilla's nuclear pulse might do to his opponents. So, it's safe to say it will most likely do severe damage and send them flying. Moving on to Heisei Godzilla, this is where he shines the most. His standard atomic breath burns out a scorching 500,000 degrees Celsius. It was able to completely snap off Ghidorah's head like it was made of paper and it was easily able to blast a hole through his wing. His atomic breath was able to tear Biollante apart. However, this was aimed inside her mouth, so that would add to its damage inflicted on Biollante. His atomic breath was able to also stalemate Mechagodzilla's Mega Buster. In regards to his nuclear pulse, it was able to completely tear off Biollante's tendrils that had wrapped around him. It was able to send the 20,000 metric ton Mothra flying. Now that we've covered their respective ranged weapons, who takes this category? Considering Heisei God's atomic breath is a decent bit stronger than Monstrous' atomic breath, his pulse being slightly weaker won't be much of an issue, so Heisei Godzilla takes ranged weaponry. Durability Monstrous Godzilla has shown to tank a variety of different attacks and even an extinction level event. Monstrous Godzilla took an absolute onslaught from Mechagodzilla and showed no signs of physical injury whatsoever. The Proton Scream left burns on his body, but instantly faded away. He merely received a black eye from this beating. He took multiple strikes from Kong's fists, and even more impressively took an axe charged by his own atomic breath and hollow earth energy to the thigh which barely dug in. Adding on to the energy, it was charged by his own atomic breath a second time before striking his head which merely stunned him. He basically took his own atomic breath twice in a split second and further hollow earth energy and got up in seconds to put the smack down on Kong. In his fight against Ghidorah, Ghidorah's gravity beams, who had completely disintegrated Mothra and a single firing briefly incapacitated Rodan, cut into Godzilla and burned him. He took multiple punches from the Muda Prime, who was so strong that she can break through tectonic plates. Out of all of this, his most impressive showing was easily taking the Permian Extinction Asteroid, which had landed within close proximity of him. And what does he do when it strikes him? Just shrugs it off and goes to take a nap. Moving on to Heisei Godzilla, he's infamous for these two feats of durability. One, tanking his own beam times 10,000, thanks to the Super X2's fire mirror ability. Secondly, taking his own beam times 20,000 thanks to Super Mechagodzilla's plasma grenade using the fire mirror ability, but amplifying it by two times. While there are some very obvious inconsistencies, such as Biollante piercing right through his hand, yet his standard atomic breath just two taps her. Regardless, these are incredible feats of durability that can be undermined. In the creation of Space Godzilla, his cells survived space and a black hole. He tanked all of Mechagodzilla's barrage of attacks, ranging from missiles to the wide variety of beams he had at his disposal. While Monstrous Godzilla's durability is very impressive, Heisei's is just insane. Heisei Godzilla takes durability. Physical capabilities. Now, this is where Monstrous Godzilla shines. Out of all of his attributes, his skill and use of strong physical attributes such as his jaw, claws, tail, and sheer mass contribute to his success in this field. His jaw is so strong that it was able to rip off one of Ghidorah's heads. While this was in the water, you gotta factor in how Ghidorah withstanded Godzilla's amped atomic breath with little difficulty. His claws are crazy sharp, being able to easily cut into Kong and leave nasty scars on his chest. His tail is extremely powerful as well, being able to swing it at high speeds as shown when knocking Ghidorah away and absolutely slamming Kong to the ground. Not to mention, one tapping the male Mudo. He's simply just built for it. His mass is distributed quite evenly between his arms, legs, and tail, providing enough upper 
third lower body strength. Overall, just one hell of a brawler. Heisei Godzilla is kind of lacking in this department. He very rarely utilizes his tail as he used it against an out of commission Mecha Godzilla. He's able to utilize his hands efficiently, as shown when slamming and grabbing Batra Larva and Ghidorah. As for anything else, that's about it in regards to his physical capability. A category that Heisei severely lacks in. Monstrous Godzilla easily takes this category. Stamina. Both of these Godzillas have proved that they can fight for prolonged periods of time, but which would get tired out easier. Monstrous Godzilla, after the events of King of the Monsters, had not rested for four years and was constantly traveling around the world, keeping the Titans in check and actually fighting a couple. He went throughout the night with Kong during their fight in Hong Kong until the morning. Despite being in a tired state, he even attempted to fight Mechagodzilla but quickly realized he was far too out of energy. Heisei Godzilla was also shown to be able to fight for prolonged periods of time. Similarly to Monstrous Goju, he's able to fight for half a day and even more. He seemed to simply not run out of juice when fighting Mechagodzilla whatsoever as they fought multiple times in a short span of time. He fought off both Batra and Mothra and their larva forms within a short time as well. Heisei Godzilla almost never seems to get tired, considering Monstrous Godzilla was traveling and fighting for four years straight and Heisei Godzilla was fighting for prolonged time periods, stamina is is a tie. Intelligence. Monstrous Godzilla is quite the intelligent iteration of Godzilla, for the most part. Go down. Together, strong. Star King has army. Godzilla take care of army. Kong kill Star King. Godzilla fight cold monster. You understand? Godzilla? What, what the, the f*** is Hello? this ape saying to me? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? He's able to hold leadership over the rest of the Titans around the world and control them. He's able to show appreciation, as he remembers Sarazawa as the one who had revived him. He has a special symbiotic relationship with Mothra. He's able to even coordinate with other Titans, as seen in his team up with Mothra in Boston and Ancient Times, teaming up with Kong to fight Shimo and Scar King and with Mothra against them as well. Heisei Godzilla, once again, just fails to compete in this category. Sure, you can say he's intelligent, but compared to monstrous Godzilla, Heisei Godzilla can be implied to have slightly above animal level intelligence. He shows emotion towards the sun Jr. when he's on the floor dying. Other than that, that's really it. Now before we get the paragraphs in the comments, animals in real life show emotion for their children. This isn't some high level of intelligence. Sorry to tell you, he's not gonna pull a Rubik's Cube out of his ass and solve it in 3 seconds. Monstrous Godzilla is clearly the more intelligent Godzilla as he takes intelligence. Battle Intelligence Monstrous Godzilla has fought a multitude of kaiju and in these fights, he proves his intelligence further. He's able to coordinate with other kaiju to take on a larger, more dangerous threat, such as Ghidorah and Shimo. He was able to charge up Kong's axe on purpose, considering it's made of one of the Titanus Gojira's dorsal plates for it to become more powerful and slice right through Mechagodzilla. He was able to anticipate the Malmuda's charge as he wound up a tail whip to counteract it. He changed up his fighting style to end the fight with Kong in seconds, considering his more relaxed approach clearly wasn't working. Overall, Monstrous Godzilla is quite the intelligent foe. Moving on to Heisei Godzilla, yikes. I mean, I tried. Heisei Godzilla has fought quite a few kaiju as well. He was able to realize that Space Godzilla was drawing power from the Fukuoka Tower and sort of coordinated with Mogera to fight Space Godzilla. He was able to realize that his atomic breath was being redirected by Mothra, so he opted to use his nuclear pulse instead. Once again, similarly to intelligence, Monstrous Godzilla not only shows more indicators of being superior in this field, but also just shows smarter showings as well. Abilities Monstrous Godzilla features his atomic breath and nuclear pulse. This atomic breath could likely reach upwards of 100,000 degrees Celsius, if not even higher, considering its absolute minimum is 20,000 degrees Celsius. Is shown to be absolutely devastating, as seen when drilling through half of the Earth and sending Ghidorah absolutely flying. His nuclear pulse is able to send Kaiju flying. It has a considerable range and destroys everything in its area. He features a symbiotic relationship with Mothra. He has heightened senses thanks to Mothra's sacrifice that allow him to see at all times where all the other Titans are. He's able to use telepathy as he commands all other Titans to return to rest. He has amphibiousness, being able to traverse and fight in water with efficiency, as seen when fighting Kong in the Tasman Sea and fighting Tiamat. He's able to absorb radiation, as seen when charging up on a nuclear power plant in France and absorbing the nuke that Sarazawa detonated. Heisei Godzilla has quite the similar rundown. He obviously has his own atomic breath and nuclear pulse as well. His atomic breath is quite powerful, considering it not only burns at 500,000 degrees Celsius and is able to cleanly snap off Ghidorah's head. He was also able to seal him in Mechagodzilla's Mega Buster in a beam clash. His nuclear pulse was able to rip through Biollante's tendrils and send Mothra flying into the nearby Ferris room. He has amphibiousness, allowing him to traverse and combat foes in the water efficiently as seen when fighting the Bachelor Larva. He's able to absorb radiation, as showcased when Rodan transferred his remaining energy to Godzilla in order to revive him. He's also able to project energy as seen when trying to revive Junior when he was dying. 
Considering Monstrous Godzilla has the better range of abilities and has more, he takes abilities. After compiling all of our data, I came to the conclusion that Monstrous Godzilla takes the win. While Heisei Godzilla takes range weaponry and durability, Monstrous Godzilla takes everything else besides tying and stamina. In regards to the range weaponry aspect, I see a lot of people always saying how strong Heisei Godzilla's atomic breath is purely based on temperature. It is indeed the strongest live action use of this weapon, but judging its power based on temperature alone is how do I say this? Dumb. In regards to this fight, temperature won't exactly mean much, considering Monstrous Goji has taken something that burns 200 times hotter, that being a nuclear bomb, on multiple occasions. In regards to durability, Monstrous Godzilla doesn't trail too far behind. Heisei Godzilla's cells tanking black holes is more than impressive, but people fail to realize that Monstrous Godzilla's atomic breath is the strongest thing in nature. This exceeds events such as a black hole or even a supernova. Taking all this in mind, Monstrous Godzilla is faster, smarter, more agile, far more physical, and almost Almost evenly matched in regards to durability and ranged weaponry to the point where what argument is there to make for Heisei Godzilla? One of the biggest things that would support this conclusion is Monstrous Godzilla's ability to absorb energy. As we saw in France, he was legit sucking all of the energy out of the nuclear power plant. Considering Heisei Godzilla's heart acts like a nuclear reactor, Godzilla could genuinely juice himself up and actively drain Heisei Godzilla in this fight. I understand this video is going to make a lot of you Heisei power scores mad, but hey, you can maybe tell someone else why your calculations for Heisei Godzilla merely touching a building makes the universe fold in on itself. In conclusion, Monstrous Godzilla takes the win over Heisei Godzilla. What did you guys think of this video? Do you agree or disagree? Make sure to leave your opinions down below. And if you type me a 10,000 word college essay on why I'm wrong, maybe try publishing a full book instead. With all the yap out of the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I can't believe how much success we've been getting this past month and it means the world to me. If you want to see more Godzilla content like this, drop a like and consider subscribing with notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch Godzilla Kong. Hope you enjoy and tune in next time. See ya. <laughs>